Hey, um, before you read chapter two, I would like for you to know a few things. Um, and let's just get right to it. In chapter two, um, there's a, a phrase, and it's, In defiance of con conventual rules and the edicts of popes and councils. And it's contrary to the rules of his religious order and of the government. And they're talking about um, Brian Du Bois, the, the Templar. Um, there's, we're going to talk about the furniture, which is the necessary equipment for a saddle horse. That's going to be your one of your spelling words and your vocabulary words. Stocking loom. Now that, I didn't put that in any of your work, but it's um, a mechanical knitting loom. It was invented in England in the 1500s. Which is interesting because um, Sir Walter Scott, normally he was very precise about his settings and his time periods and that kind of thing. And in this book, he is not. He has put it in realistic form, but he has moved his timing around. And so it's kind of interesting in that he has put the stocking loom that was invented in the 1500s in England in 12th century, which means in the 1100s. So, just know that that's that. I, in, in my research of the book, I found that they, the authority, the literature authorities were really amazed about um, his, in, what's the word I want to use? Normally, he's very precise and just was on it on timing and, and that kind of thing and in this book he's just kind of meh we'll mix it all up um kind of like how i think it's marvel who has done it or is it dc comics i forget which one but their their timeline doesn't matter because they're always changing it but anyway so in this one it looks like sir walter scott did some of that um the damask Damask skein, damasking carving is an intricate inlaid pattern, and then it's in a knife that someone has. I believe it's either the monk or the templar, um, so just watch out, listen for that. And then device, that is also going to be one of your vocabulary words and one of your spelling words, and what it is, it's an identifying emblem used by knights and lords. So basically, it would be like their coat of arms. It's their picture on their shield. Um, a baldric is a belt worn across the chest to support the sword or a bugle. Now you may have already known that one because I know you read a lot of knight kind of things. And the Caesarians, Caesarians, not sure how you say it, um, that's the Arabs and the Muslims. El Jared, um, that's also one of your vocabulary words. I don't remember, I don't think it's, it's not a spelling word, it's just a vocabulary word. And then there's a game played with a blunt javelin in Muslim countries. Now in the book it says European countries, but in all the definitions that I found, um, they all agree it's Muslim countries. Not just, not Europe, but Muslim countries. Um, in Flanders and in Normandy, Flanders is a region on the coast of Belgium near the Netherlands. Normandy is the homeland of the Normans and on the northern coast of France. So again, the, um, the phrase is in Flanders and in Normandy. See, there's some of these phrases you hear and you're like, what is that? So hopefully this will be helpful. You may not remember. I don't know. But we're going to try. Um, Prior of Jorlu Abbey is second in command in the monastery. And he is a character in the book. He's the abbey. He's the monk. He's going to be a main character um, the next few chapters. And he's a scoundrel. He just really is. Um, scan too nicely is also another um, phrase you're going to hear. Scan too nicely means to examine in too much detail. So... And I think it's in the context of either the female scan him too nicely or he scans them too nicely. It's a little racy there. Um, in court, a person who has retired into seclusion, seclusion for religious reasons. I've not given you that one, but that's like another one that you need to 
just pay attention. Oh no, I lost my place on my computer. Um, it's another one that you might want to know before you listen. And it's anchor it. And it may be anchor shay because it might be a French word. Um, at Franklin, a property owner, not of noble birth. We've we pretty well exhausted that one probably in chapter one. <laughs> and then a palmer is a pilgrim that carried a leaf or a symbol of having been to the Holy Lands. And it was actually the Templars' job to protect them while they were over there. And um, the palmer that they meet in chapter two, I don't get it exactly. Um, but he makes a a chide sort of remark. So you might want to be listening to it and you might pick it up and, and get it. I want to know. Okay? You tell me. Um, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. I'm, I'm looking at my notes. Oh, I didn't bring the book with me. Um, I think that's good for before you read. We'll come back and we'll discuss a few things after you do. I love you. Bye.